Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, April 2020, a different Commodore VIC-20 game on my channel. Today's game is Golf. So let's start the game. So this is a game based on the arcade machine, which is sort of like a mix of four different games. So yeah, as you can see, I am the, the ship at the bottom and you've got like a defence layer. It's a bit like Space Invaders, but you've got like this defence force field sort of thing. They're destroying it, as you can see. So yeah, the first time I ever played on Golf was on the Atari 2600, so I've never actually played the VIC-20 version until today, so uh, let's have a look. So yeah, graphics are okay. There's a nice job of replicating the uh, classic coin-up machine. I have played the coin-up machine before, only on an emulator though, not, um, not in real life. Probably quite rare by now. But yeah, this is VIC-20 version anyway, so yeah, you basically... Oh, you fuck! You basically got to try and shoot all the invaders. It looks like they're using very similar invaders to Space Invaders. They look, they look almost the same. As you can see, just like on Space Invaders, the less they use, the more faster they go. So they're almost at the bottom there. Whoa! There we go, so we're on Space Cadet. So, laser attack is mission two. So on this mission, you've got to watch out for these guys, who like sort of swoop down. And he shoots like a, la a vertical laser at you. Quite, it can be quite challenging this game. There we go, I've got some of them. They look a bit like birds, don't they? Oh, you fuck! So we keep going. Have some of that. So I'm on to Space Warp now. So yeah, the game's got a nice little bit of mix in the game to add a bit of variety. So I bet they come swooping down there through the, uh, the warp. Of, of it. I tried to do a, a good job of uh, replicating the uh, coin up machine on the VIC-20 and they haven't done too bad considering the limitations. The arcade machine would have been, I reckon, a bit more powerful than the VIC-20. Because um, obviously uh, it's probably got sprites where the uh, VIC-20 does not. Oh, you fuck! So I just died right here. Bite the dust. So yeah, so there we go. It's quite That's difficult cool. on the VIC-20 actually. I don't remember it being this difficult on the Atari 2600, the first version I played. One thing to mention about the game, when you shoot, if you shoot again too early, you, your body cancels out. So if you say if you shoot, shoot, then you press it again, it like sort of, your bullet returns to you and you, you have to shoot again. So that can uh, put you off sometimes when you're just about to hit a baddie and you accidentally press a fire button. And that baddie's life is spared. So oh yeah, uh, yeah, a pretty good game. Plays well on the Vic 20. A little bit of flock, a little bit of flicker here and there, but the, the system does not have any sprites in hardware, so uh, it would have been quite challenging to get get the game to look look good on the system for the programmers. But they've done a good job. Watch out for these guys. Oh you fuck! Watch out! Oh you booner! Oh come on! Really? Sometimes you can get killed by the same one. Twice. Okay, here we go. Let's try and do this. Right, they're going faster as we know. Coming to the end. There we go. So on to a laser attack now. He's the a, a swooping birds again. Hey, I got him. Try and get the one with the laser. Oh, you fuck. They're all swooping down. Have that. So on to space warp now. No, I didn't get very far last time. One thing to mention about the game, you can also go up from there, and you, not just left and right. Oh, you fuck. It's not an easy game at all. Bite, bit the dust, or bite the dust. So it's also by Bally Midway, as you can see. Right, here we go. Let's try and do this. So you can go up and down. One thing, if you can get as much of them as you can while that still stops, it makes it easier at this first level. Right, let's try and do this better. Try and watch out for their baddies. Their bullets, sorry. Here we go. Graphics are okay, they look a bit blocky at, at times, but you, what can you expect? It's a big 20 for heaven's sake. Oh shit! Watch out for this guy right here. Have some of that. I'm doing a bit better this time. I haven't lost a life, touch wood. Yay, on to laser attack without losing lives. Top of the screen shows you your lives and uh, how much bat, bat lives you've got. 
Sorry, the top of the screen shows you your score. The high score. No, it just shows you the score. And it also shows you how much lives you've got. Oh, fuck off. Yes, yeah, seems to have quite a steep difficulty curve on the VIC-20 version. Have some of that. So to space warp now again. This is the one I keep getting died on. Fucking hell, how hard is this? Oh, come on, what? Here we go. It's really difficult, this is. Somebody's coming out fast, and then you got them asteroids. Oh. Hey, want a flagship, excellent. So on this one, you've got to try and destroy the flagship. You've got to try and get to the core of the ship. By if you shoot him, it like sort of inflicts damage on his ship by uh, like that. So you've got to try and get to the core. So you can see that red circle in the middle of his ship. That's the core. So you've got to sort of like penetrate the, the bodywork of the ship before you can get to the core. Here we go. Watch out for the, uh, the rocks and his bullets. Oh, you fuck. So bite the dust. Yep, so uh, yeah, that's gore from the VIC-20. Quite a uh, faithful conversion to the arcade machine. Much lower resolution now, obviously. I'm going to give uh, gore from the VIC-20 7 out of 10 for effort. Very, very difficult. Thank you for watching.